Hi everyone, welcome back to another one of my cryptocurrency update videos. Uh, I just want to say before we go ahead that I'm, I just really want to get to 80 subscribers. I've got three more subs, so if you're not subscribed and you're watching, please subscribe. Anyway, so we're doing XDC. I'm starting off a bit different today. I'm starting on the daily, but I will do most of the analysis on the four hour. But I just want to recap what's happened with XDC. So we had this falling wedge, which is a bullish pattern, broken out of this. We had a retest to... Well, we didn't come right all the way back to the line. We had some sort of retest bounced up. We had a big bounce up there. We came straight back down, which is understandable when you have a big push. Oh my God, lucky. Sorry, that's my cat. Um, So we were, we were under the moving averages here, using them as resistance. However, this green candle here managed to push through both of those moving averages. Not quite the 200, but when we break the 20 and the 55, we do then go to the... 200 moving average here that's like a next target next technical target so we have hit that now found a bit of resistance here so we might actually kind of consolidate between the the two moving averages here and the 200 moving average here as well kind of does look, look a bit like a head and a shoulders pattern with a second shoulder forming here which would bring us down further obviously that's not validated until we break the lows but that's just what I'm seeing right now, but I don't think that will play out. I think that's just more what I'm seeing because what could be happening here. Another thing that I'm seeing is like a W pattern here. So we've come down one bottom, we're going to form another bottom and we've got our neckline. So obviously until either pattern has played out, we're not going to really know which one it is yet. But I'm, pre I'm pretty certain that we're going to be forming a W pattern. I mean, it's looking positive for XTC at the moment because we are above those moving averages. Anyway, moving on to the four hour. <clears throat> okay. So the four hour is a bit more patchy, a bit more gappy, if <laughs> that's even a word to use. But we can still do analysis. And we had a really nice W pattern here, which brought us right up to here. So that's really, really good fantastic really nice pattern to see that, that they do play out nicely on this on this chart so that could be happening again could be doing something similar one bottom form in the second bottom here so it's played out here it could play out again here hopefully that could bring us back up to these highs here pushing us up to these highs here after that and we are above oh, we are actually above now all the moving averages here on the four hour so that's great great for the short term anyway we obviously don't know what could happen in the long term but in the short term we're above all of these moving averages well we're, we're just almost we're in between the 55 and the 20 moving average so we could obviously we're trying to find some area here to, we're finding support and resistance at the same time so we need to try and push through that 20 moving average and then we'll be above all the moving averages and that will bring us back up so let's add some fibs on now So I have got a fib from here to here, but there are smaller fibs as well. But let's look at this fib first. So we are above the 0 0.618 at the moment. So we are actually above 0 0.089 cent, which is fantastic. We need to hold that level to confirm further upside for the moment. For the time being, we have to hold 0 0.089 cent. That would confirm that we are actually going to be heading back up again. If you lose the 618, then unfortunately we will be heading back to the one which is around previous lows here. And the, that can bring us down to 0 0.079 cent. But obviously we are focusing up here right now and we do need to get above the 0 0.618 to confirm continuation. Okay, so that's kind of it for XDC. I mean, I could add a fib from this bottom to this top here as well. But again, it's still looking really good. We're above the 0 0.618 here, above the 5 fib level as well. Maybe we'll come back down to the 0618 or to the 200 to do that second bottom for the W pattern. But again, ultimately, we just need to be holding that 0618, that 0 0.080 cent mark. And yeah, that's it for today, guys, for XDC. But it is looking overall very good for this chart. I'm pretty, feeling very positive. And just like and comment down below. And I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.